Joe writes, hey guys, love the show. I've been listening for several months now. Quick question, are there any movies that you were really liking until you saw the ending for it and thus ending up hating the film? For me, it's High Tension and The Prestige. Stupid clones. Keep up the great work, gang. <laughs> well, first off, I really like The Prestige. I think it's one yeah, of Nolan's too. best movies <laughs> along with The Dark Knight and Inception. So I, I, I can't agree with you there. But there are movies that have endings uh, I don't know if there's anyone that, that I think of where the ending's so horrible that I hate the movie, but there are like really good movies that have endings that were kind of disappointing and kind of like, I, I thought, okay, you could take this movie to a, the next level. Um, one of them is uh, LA Confidential is one of my favorite movies of all time. Right. And, and all they needed like to do movie? is cut off at the very end when Guy Pierce raises his oh. police badge up and just fade it to black and end the movie. But then they tacked mm. on that, like, kind of, I don't know, kind of cheesy little happy ending <laughs> to it. Um, what else? Uh, speaking of Nolan, uh, Interstellar, I, I, I didn't yeah. like the end for, ending for that. Uh, I, I thought the middle part of that movie was amazing. I just didn't care for, for the ending. They could have left off with, I don't know, less less of a, uh, you know, deus ex machina type of ending. Um, mm. uh, Roka, what do you got? Uh, I mean, Signs, yeah. The Water. I mean, I, it just was, it's 70% of the Earth's surface. If you're going to come conquer a planet, you would think you'd explore that and figure that out. It didn't, <laughs> didn't kill the film for me because I, I think it was actually Shyamalan's last gasp as a good filmmaker. The majority of the film till the end. It's, it's one of Gibson's best performances, and Joaquin's always good in that. And I would say I Am Legend. I, had a re I loved I Am Legend up until the end because I'm like, wait, and are we allowed to say spoiler here or anything like I that? I think it's I, old. I legend, it's old, yeah, okay. it's old enough. I mean, he try, he's a survivor. He constantly survives, and then he meets these two strangers, and near the end, he decides to sacrifice himself for them yeah. it just I, I get the point they're trying to make it just doesn't because he's guilt he feels the guilt but if he's going to survive how can he be guaranteed that those two aren't going to die without his care and so i think i thought it was an odd ending um and of course ai everything after, oh yeah uh, that's everything on my after, list yeah. everything after the blue angel is a waste of time yeah. it should have ended with him underwater exactly. seeing the blue angel fade to black exactly movie over movie over uh the wolverine is one like that stinking samurai at the end, the way that, the way that they did it. Uh, I just, I was really enjoying it. What, everything that was going on, I was so invested in it. And then at the end, it just kind of seemed like it was thrown in there, and they got studio notes or something. And the other thing, now stick with me because I know you're going to lose your mind here. Uh, Rocky Five. Now, but, yeah, well, but wait, okay. wait, because you're like, well, wait a minute. How did you even like that movie up yeah, until yeah. Rocky Five? If you would have put Rocky, I hate Rocky Five now. Yeah. If you would have put Rocky Five, if Rocky would have fought in the ring didn't die, fought Tommy Gunn in the ring with a really cool kind of like Clubber Lang fight, and it was an amazing fight, you would have forgave the majority of the movie, and the movie actually would have probably been a lot better. Because it's that stupid street fight at the end. Yeah. That you're just like, no, you want to see Rocky fight in the ring. So Rocky Five to me was one. No, Rocky Five. I actually like the relationship of how his son was jealous of yeah. him and, and uh, Tommy Morrison. But yeah, you're right. That street fight was it terrible. ruined the whole movie. I, and I'm with you on AI. That mm -hmm. it fade to black right when he goes in the water. Yeah. Not the stupid. 2,000 years later and aliens come in and uh, I, there's like a clone of his mom yeah. or something, something like that. It's all um, explaining everything. I thought that was Spielberg. That was Spielberg's part of that Kubrick movie. Yes. That's yes, what it felt definitely. like to me. Oh, I, I, I forgot to mention one of my favorite sci-fi movies, Sunshine, has an ending oh, yeah. that like doesn't make any sense. Like why? Because three-fourths of the movie is just pure science fiction yeah. and they kind of throw a supernatural slash slasher slash horror part at the very end didn't ruin the movie for me but it definitely took off a, like 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 a point off it's kind of how i felt about the witch um that i just saw the witch i i and i don't think a lot of people are going to agree with me though but, but i just i watched the entire film and then the ending to me took it away from me a little bit i was like hmm. okay that seemed a little cliched but how about the ending of the village did you guys like that oh I didn't, no but, i didn't see no 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 oh, yes. the, the ending of the you're right the ending yeah. of the village was a terrible reveal yeah, yeah, yeah. right because everything about it was so great and then yeah. you're like Wait, what? Right. Wait, what? <laughs> he was like, mm. What's a twist? <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.